Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local residents and local businesses on why they like being in Flagler and what they like to do in Flagler. So today, I'm super excited to have my guest, Miss Kathy, on with us today. Kathy is a real estate agent for, we just talked about 16 years, which is incredible. And now she's going into a new venture in her life where she's uh, starting her campaign for city council of Flagler County. So, Kathy, thank you so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, I'd love for you to kind of start a little bit on how you kind of came to Flagler. I think you told me this story a little while ago, but I'd love for you to share how you found Flagler and how you liked being here. Well, um, so in 2003, my husband was being transferred with um, the company he worked for at that time um, out of Boston. And uh, we were transferring down to this area. Um, and we just sort of looked at, um, you know, the the whole area and just sort of zoned in on Palm Coast. Palm Coast is uh, close enough to all the fun spots yet far enough away. And um, the other thing about Palm Coast that I uh, really loved when we came was that it felt to me like it was 10 years behind mm. the area that I was living in. And, and that's sort of where I wanted, how I wanted to raise my son, not as fast paced as the, right. the area I was living in. Yeah, that makes no mm-hmm. sense. And are, are, you, are you the one who shared with me the data of like where we are located when it comes to hurricane season? No, but okay. um, that is interesting because I, I get asked about that all the time. Right. And, I know there's a word for it. I, I don't remember specifically, though um, it has something to do with the um, the coastline of Flagler that causes the storms to go above or below us. And, and I believe that's why we haven't had a direct hit. And on the other side, when the hurricanes come from from west of us, it you know, by going through the state, it sort of breaks down. So yeah. we've been very fortunate. Um, but that's all I want to say about that. I'm not fully informed. Right. Yeah. I don't want to jinx us. Oh yeah. I mean, we just had the storm last night and it was, it was kind of rough for a little bit, but I think within a few, it kind of calmed down as the night went on. It wasn't as crazy as I, right. I guess I anticipated. I know some people were a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people in my neighborhood where I live, um, we had the hurricane, I think it was 2013. It, it feels sooner than that, but, mm. um, but I think it was 2013 that went right through my backyard. And then this last one went through another piece of my neighborhood. Mm. So that was a little, yeah. Un- the yeah last, and- get to that last night was nice. <laughs> right. Last night was like a gentle rain, <laughs> gentle pitter powder on the window. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course we're not, 100% like protected by any means by hurricanes but I think compared to some of the other places in the state we are a little bit more protected which is a great place because we are also so close to the beach um but yeah I'd love for you to tell also a little bit so you've been in real estate for about 16 years what inspired you to, to go into it and how have you liked being in Palm Coast and doing real estate well uh, so this my company didn't start in real estate, the company is actually, uh, it was created in 2004. Um, so that's 20, 20 years now. Yeah. Um, yeah, that went by fast. <laughs> so it started out as a property maintenance company. It was tag, um, tag property maintenance, I think it was, um, until we changed the name over the years to be able to expand. So we, um, that side of the company that still works today, but the bulk of that work is in St. John's County or or in the Northeast, um, that we used to uh, do some of the turnovers for management companies and um, the, you know, that when the tenants move out, would go in, clean it up, you know, paint touch-ups, all that maintenance. Um, And and with uh, new construction, we would uh, do deep variety of punch out work we don't have one specific you know they do acrylic decking and thick uh broadcast flake uh for garage floors things like that but other than that it's punch out work it's um the little things that need to be buttoned up that they can't get their regular so back to do mm-hmm. um so in 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 i was out there with my husband um you know tools in hand um and that i met a lot of the buyers 
um, mm. a lot of, uh, not, not as much sellers, but a lot of uh, people in real estate. And uh, so it was about, uh, what, seven years? Uh, no, five years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I thought I, maybe I should get my real estate license and expand the company. Then, um, so that was, uh, that was 2007 when I got licensed. And then when you first license, you have to work for other brokers mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of years. Um, when my two years were up, I brought it into the company. And then we had these two parts. Um, and, and I worked that out of my house uh, for a long time. And then um, I'm forgetting exact dates because we just kept yeah. moving. Um, so, so I opened the real estate and it was just me. And then in 2000, I want to say 14, um, I decided to expand the real estate portion to um, have other agents to do the property management um and my husband was still doing the the um punch out work and, and all that uh not in flag county anymore but in northeast florida um and then uh in 2015 um 14 15 we had some things happen in the family that caused me to uh want to um, give back to charity in, in charitable way. Um, but I did not want to give to, uh, you know, charities that paid payrolls or light bills, you know, things like that. I wanted to bring it actually to the people. Um, so to be sure we were doing that, we created our own foundation. So in 2015, that's when we um, uh, brought Tag VBA to life, the Tag VBA Foundation. And, oh. and during all of that, as I said, I was raising my son here. So I ran the uh, PTO at his elementary school. Um, I was on the SAC, so the, um, the um, oh, I forget what the S is, <laughs> council, um, school advisory council, I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but the SAC. Um, so I, I was involved with the schools heavily during that time, going to the school board meetings and um, when it comes to politics, you know, mm -hmm. people say that they're not into politics. Right. They really, they, they are. They just don't see it that way. So when my son was young, I was focused mm -hmm. on the schools. Um, for, when I got into real estate, I was focused on the county. Um, and then there was some, the, the whole political scene changed over the past few years, as, right. as you know. Right. Um, and it got... Um, very thick, mm -hmm. um, a sort of sort of ugly. Um, mm -hmm. you know, not, not on any side, just you know, everybody right, had yeah. fear and untrust, um, and and they, I I see why, and um, so um, being involved in the political scene here for twenty years, um, that's when I decided to um, not just be. Uh, um, an angry voice or a confused voice right? Or, or I'm just not sure of what the truths are. The best way to find the truth and to make sure it's clear and transparent is to get your hands dirty and get in there and do the work. So yeah. that's why I decided to run. Well, that's awesome. So you clearly have a track record of, you know, taking responsibility and opening new pathways like you did with your company and expanding into real estate in different areas and bringing in that new life and new blood into your company, which is amazing. And then obviously now this transforms into how you view politics, which just makes so much sense. I mean, this is not like any specific point, but it's really easy as like bystanders, almost bystanders to, you know, our own communities to see things that we don't agree with and think, oh, you know, posting on Facebook is Enough, right and sometimes people don't have an ambition to go into politics right that's really not their scene anyway like I know for me like especially where I am right now like that's not on the horizon anytime soon but never um, because I have said that too right exactly say never say never you're exactly right mm -hmm. um which is a great point but like you know I still have all of these thoughts and I have these emotions and being able for you to think you know time it's enough I need there needs to be some new blood in the system of someone who you know doesn't have the maybe I don't want to get like too terribly political here 
<laughs> so like true using my words carefully um but just having that new blood of like all right I haven't really been in the scene and this is what I know the community needs and the community is telling me this so let's see what I can do from right. the inside and actually get down there and get get my hands dirty which is awesome I think you know huge round of applause for anyone who goes into that who even you know attempts to I I have so much respect um you know my dad you might remember like he my entire life I've been surrounded by politics by people who go into politics and it's not easy by any means (laughs) it's not it it can get really ugly really quickly but I can I can tell that you have a passion for it and that you know you know exactly what you want to go in there and do and hopefully everything works out and you're able to go and do that for the community I'm, I'm really rooting for you that would be amazing thank you yeah so I think you kind of shared a lot of great things of what I would like to touch on anyway. And I, I just am completely in love with your story. And I can tell that you're definitely one of those go-getters. You know, you don't stand by the sides. You say, you know, I think there's a change that we can happen. I'm going to be that change. And that's just amazing. So I appreciate you coming on and sharing that with me. Um, before we wrap up, is there anything that you think, like, what is the best way for someone to get in contact with you and maybe learn more about what you're looking to do with your campaign or maybe for real estate or anything like that? Well, I mean, they definitely can reach out by email. I shared my um, my campaign website mm-hmm. um, and my cell phone. I mean, I always say if somebody's looking for me and says they can't find me, they're not looking that hard. It's just one Google <laughs> search and you've got my numbers, you know? So um, they can they can always call. Um, my office is uh, right here in the community um, at 25 Old Kings Road. Folks walk in here all the time. And, you know, if I'm able, if someone just walks in, um, you know, they just sit up. At, I, I work out in the opening mm. area of the um, of the establishment. So when somebody walks in, I'm right here walking. If there's room at the table, they're welcome to sit at the table and talk to me while I work. If they want undivided attention, that's an appointment. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I think that's amazing that you're able to have that open door policy because I think it definitely shows you know transparency that you want to completely be open for people in the community and locally. And I think that's a great quality to have for someone in who's going into your field and someone who's been in that field of real estate and now transitioning into hopefully city council. So I I will let folks know that even, you know, I said that they could come anytime. Um, My office admin, she has children. So uh, I only guarantee that someone's here nine to three 30 because she has to get kids. So um, we're, we're, we're usually here nine to four, but definitely nine to three 30. Perfect. So I'll make sure I have like the her address, her number, and then the uh, website she shared with me for her campaign in the description. So people can click on that a little bit easier and hopefully get in contact if they have any questions. Uh, and learn maybe a little bit more about you, Kathy. I think you have a great story and I think there's so much more you can share. So thank, thank you again you. for coming on. I really appreciate it. It was such an honor to listen to your story. And I'm really excited to see how these next few months unfold for you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, of course. Well, thank you guys so much for listening and hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.